What's going on, everyone? It is just about 3.30, Thursday the 9th, the 19th, sorry, wow. Um, and I had mentioned that I was going to be making a video on, uh, like, macro questions, uh, if it fits your macros, flexible dieting, uh, training and nutrition. Uh, I was going to make a separate video for that, and uh, I came to the conclusion that I'm just going to kind of talk about it while you guys watch me do this power upper program that I'm working on called the Mikey G PHAT program. So, um, I also have my boy well with me here. He showed up a little late, but you'll see him in later clips. Anyway, let's get started. Um, so, as far as getting started uh, with your macros, how should I start? Uh, you'll hear some people tell you, you know, their, their websites like iifym.com where they have a calculator you'll put in I think your body weight, how much weight, this, that, the other thing. Uh, if that's the way you want to go about it, you know, it works. Uh, but what I found from that is that the calculators uh, way underestimate the amounts of macros per se, calories, intake, uh, food in general, that they just completely underestimate the amount that my body needed anyway to maintain my body weight. So the way that I went about it was I downloaded the app MyFitnessPal. It's a free app and it's kind of self-explanatory. Everybody kind of just gets the hang of it on their own. And uh, so what I did was I started tracking all of my food that I ate for an entire week and weighed myself in the morning after I used the bathroom and uh, got naked just so everybody knows. Um, and I tracked my weigh-ins versus the amount of food that I was taking in so I can kind of get a, uh, a caloric range and, uh, as far as where my range of uh, my weigh-ins were. And by that, that's how I determined uh, how my, what my macros should be as far as fats, carbs, protein, and fiber too, guys. Fiber is really important. Um, so that's how I went about it. If you guys have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments below. And uh, let's see, what else did I say? Okay, so as far as macros and getting started, that's how you do it. How do you track them? My Fitness Pal, that's the app that I was just talking to you about. Uh, you put it in, it basically tells you, you know, you find, let's say, uh, you had chicken and uh, like a sweet potato, right? So you type in chicken, you find the chicken that you bought, how much of it that uh, you weighed out on your scale. And uh, you'll plug that into my fitness pal. It'll tell you, um, okay, so there's zero grams of fat in this piece of chicken breast. There's 25 grams of protein. Let's say it was four ounces. So it's roughly 25 grams of protein. And uh, the sweet potato weight was like, I don't know, 32 grams. Let's just say that's... Uh, 41 carb. Um, I'm just spitting random numbers out, so please uh, don't take it too seriously right now. Um, so basically, at the end of the day, you would come out with these numbers. And uh, just for uh, video sake, my macros right now, and before I go any further, they are extremely high, and I am, yes, still reverse dieting. Uh, my macros now are way higher than they ever were. Uh, even at the end of my bulk before I started my cut for this show that I was gonna do in April. So anyway, where are my macros? I'm doing 100 grams of fat, 550 grams of carbs on my regular day. I do 650 on my refeed. And uh, 200 to like 225 protein. I kind of give myself a range as far as protein. Um, I kind of give myself a range as far as everything. Uh, that I'm reverse dieting, yes, I'm kind of in a surplus, a very small surplus, that it's okay to give yourself a little bit of range. Uh, if you were dieting, uh, maybe in the beginning stages, that kind of thing would be okay, give yourself a little bit of a range, but, um, uh, well, let's just say you're conscious prep dieting. You give yourself a little bit of range, but the further and further you get to, uh, or the closer and closer that you get to your show, I'm sorry. Um, you kind of want to be very, very, very accurate. Uh, so, 
that's that's my take on uh, macros. So um, if anybody has any uh, serious questions as far as uh, maybe you didn't understand something that I was talking about, or you want me to go more in depth, or you want me to talk about this topic, or or whatever, um, let me know. Um, as far as training goes, I'm definitely not a training expert as far as programs per se. I'm still kind of just you know getting the hang of it. Um, I do, however, sell uh, strength programs and training programs, but uh, I don't consider myself to be the best. So, just so everybody knows, I've got a lot of information from learning from uh, guys like Wayne Norton, uh, Ben Escro, uh, Team 3 DMJ. Uh, guys like that, so um, if any of you guys know who those people are, um, then you're pretty much on the right track. You should have a solid program uh, and know exactly what you're hitting when you come into the gym. And um, another training thing I kind of wanted to talk about was writing down your workouts. This, for me anyway, is really important so that I know exactly what weights that I hit for the amount of reps. Uh, the the strength part of the program is pretty pretty much known already. We're running off of percentages, myself and Will, uh, a very tailored version of small ob, and I purchased a program that I'm smashing into one, calling them like DHAT. Anyway, uh, if you're writing down your workouts, you, you know exactly what weights you hit. Um, other than your compound movements, which everybody pretty much already remembers what they did. Things like isolation, like you're watching on the screen right now, uh, you're watching me do uh, tricep dips. Now I have two 45s on each side. So what I did was I I added up the whole, all the 45s and I wrote down that number on the on my piece of paper and then the sets times reps. And I do that for everything. Like you're gonna see me later in a video doing tricep pushdowns and hammer curls. Like, I write everything down so that I remember exactly what weight that I hit, so that I know when it's time to either add another rep or add a little bit more weight depending on how big the weight jump is. So, uh, so it's either add a couple more reps, so if I'm doing sets of eight, and let's, I'm doing sets of six, oh, I, okay, for instance, I'm doing sets of six right here with the 90 pound bar. The next jump up, I believe, is 100. So I would probably go till I got eight reps with that, four sets of eight, and then move up to the 100 pound barbell instead of jumping and just doing another set of six with the 100 pound barbell, or if that makes sense. Um, so anyway, I also asked if anybody had any specific questions on my Facebook page for my specific friends, if they had anything they wanted me to kind of talk about. Uh, in this video other than what I was already going to cover and needless to say that my friends are smart asses and they wrote non-specific questions to what I wanted so anyway I'm just gonna read a couple of them just for S and G's uh, first one is well my sister Brie she asks how many macros do I have left uh, well, that depends. How much have you eaten so far today? Uh, and... <laughs> wow. Um, my friend Kate says, Puppies? Question mark? Um, what? Serious? <laughs> so, and, uh, anyway guys, that was, that was pretty much it. I'm just gonna read those. And, um, I hope everybody kind of had a great day today. Today I did my, uh, what was today, today's, today's Thursday, I had my deadlift day, my uh, strength deadlift day, uh, working with 315 for 7 sets of 5, and um, that first set was really tough, I felt like I hit an RPE 9.5, and, and I kind of just stood there and stared at the bar for a little while thinking like, like holy shit, like I have to do six more of this. I was thinking, well maybe I should lower my training max, and I was like, eh, you know, whatever. I didn't lower my training max. It's like, alright, let me see what happens when I hit my second set. Let's see what happens. Uh, anyway, that second set was way better. The bar speed was way faster, it felt, it just, overall it felt way better. So I, just, I continued with it, um, and needless to say, yeah, I finished all seven sets with 315. 80% uh, which would be my training max for the 
would be uh, 395, I believe. Um, so yeah, that's that's uh, that's about it as far as um, the how macros kind of work, how to get started with them, how to track them, and um, training as well. So I'm gonna leave you guys to watch the rest of this video and um, so if you guys have any questions at all whatsoever um, whether it's uh, anything related to the specifically macros or training or um, how anything fitness related if you want training programs or you want me to coach you uh, my link for my email is in the description box as always and uh, yeah, guys, that's that's really about it. Uh, look forward to the uh, new video being posted up, hopefully sometime tomorrow, if not, definitely the next day. And have a good one. Enjoy. Thanks, and comment, like, and subscribe. Day two went for some chest. <laughs> Figured out went for about 80% again. One rep max. Ended up to be about 165. Wasn't too bad. Pretty went well, pretty well. Yeah. Got my six in. Had to drop it to 155. The last two sets, but you know we made it happen. It was the last set. It was the last two. It was. Uh, last two? Maybe just the last one, I think? I think it was just the last one. It might be just the last one. Yeah, I think one. it was okay. just the last one, yeah. I remember mean, the second last one was a rough one, but, uh... Yeah. The last one, you dropped down 10 pounds, finished it strong, then hit the mother upper body. Yeah, it was went, a long workout today. That upper body one tends to be, like, a two and a half, three-hour workout sometimes. Yeah, it is a lot, because you're going from, you know, you go from the push-pull to push-pull. Push-pull, push-pull, arms. So, you know, the four sets takes a while. Yeah. That it does. Uh, definitely a good workout. Have a good workout, man. Definitely. Shit. All right. <laughs> Pretty hungry. <laughs>